Uh-huh. Yup. Hey, this is Kraus. Welcome back, everybody, to a new Minecraft Let's Build. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you give this video a like. And if you do so, thank you <laughs> very, 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 very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the previous uh, Let's Build, we did this little small, simple house, which we see in front of us. We also done a star house, which is this one. We've done a small modern house and a little bit more complex one over here. And uh, all of them can be found in the description if you guys want to build them yourself. So do check it out. And in today's episode, we're going to attempt to create something which resembles a beach house, beach villa of some type. So no time to waste. Let's get uh, let's get the crafting. And the main materials for today's build are going to be as follows. We're going to be using smooth quartz, blocks, slabs and stairs stripped oak logs we're gonna be using this which is called light gray concrete powder don't ask me why i just like the texture of it we're also gonna be using a uh, light gray concrete we're gonna be using light blue concrete uh, birch trap doors planks stairs and slabs and then just some normal window penises and some white stained window penises we're gonna be building this on the default resource pack and the shaders i'm using are called silver's vibrant shaders which are 1.8 in high Dot zip. It's going to be a little bit more bits and pieces than this, but uh, these are the main building blocks for the house. And ladies and gentlemen, using the smooth quartz, let's start our foundation. So let's do 3, 2, 1 and pop it down. <laughs> Don't ask me why, we just clap on the first block, all right? And this house is going to be having double walls. So let's do 1, 2 and 3. And then using the light gray concrete powder, let's dig down. 1, 2 and 3. This is going to be a little like a doorway passage. And use whatever you prefer. I just really like the texture here in a default texture pack. And then smooth quartz. 1 and using a stripped oak, we're going to have a window, which is 2 in width like a soul. Then continue using the smooth quartz. Bam and bam. And the foundation is the most important thing ever. So do spend a little bit extra time on this just so you get everything right, okay? Then stripped oak. Let's do 1 jump away one is gonna be a little window jump away two is gonna be a little door entrance and place one more like that and then do one and two more of the smooth course like that and you know what let's be let's be using this this all over the place so let's dig this down just to kind of mark it out and i think it's gonna be very nice and easy to see for you guys as well perfect and let's continue next we're gonna be having a window which is five in width so let's do one two three four and five some windows are going to be placed on the courts and some windows are going to be placed just into the ground. Just going to give it a little bit of variation and detail and whatnot. Then, courts, one and two. And one more window, which is two in width like that. And then just finalize this wall by doing one, two and three. So that means if you count this correctly, or if you've done this correctly, this should be 30 blocks across from that side to that side. One important thing to point out is that this is pretty much the side or the back of the house. So let's say you have this on the beach, right? You come out, you have the beach and the ocean just in front of you. Okay, just so, just so you get it right. Let's continue from the sides, I guess. So let's turn the house over here. So let's do one, two, as we have ready. And let's do one more. So it's going to be three in total, like on the corner. And then stripped oak, one and two. There's going to be a window and then one and two of smooth quartz then we're gonna have another window which is dug down into the ground so it's not really placed on those logs however this could also be used as like a door entrance to the to the outside areas and then using the smooth quartz let's do one two three and four and let's pretty much mirror that shape to this side so we have one two let's do three like so one and two using the strip the uh, oaks and then smooth quartz one and two and dig down the little window and use light gray concrete or whatever material you prefer and then quartz one two three and four so from above you should be having this shape which this side is mirrored to that side let me just pause here for a second so you guys can catch up let's move to this corner and now we're going to be counting with corrals again so let's do one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 and 11 all right move to this side and counting from the current blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten only which means this wall should line up with this over here and now we can pretty much make a little room out of this so let's say we make one and two 
Then have a door entrance to the room, which is maybe tuned with, and then close off the wall all the way to the far end, like so. And then let's do pretty much something similar on this side, but here we're gonna do this. Let's start from this corner, and let's take this all the way, jump away two times for a door or a window over here, and let's do something like that. So now, you're having this shape. Next, let's do the front entrance to the house, which is going to be over here. So let's jump over here to the far end of the wall and place a smooth course. By the way, you can use uh, concrete as well. It's going to work as fine. But I'm going to place this like a so, and then strip dog. Let's do one, jump away one for a window, jump away two for a door entrance, and then pretty much just end the wall like this. And actually, I'm going to get some light gray concrete part in here, so it becomes a little bit easier for you guys to see, maybe. Perfect. And on this side, we could pretty much do the same shape, but without the, the doors and whatnot. So let's take it out by, I believe that is nine tiles. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And that should meet up with that. That is perfect. However, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, you know what? We come in over here. Let's maybe have a door to the back uh, garden and whatnot. So let's see. Let's mirror the door on which we have in the front. One and two. And let's maybe delete that as well. And let's get some concrete power just over here. And then let's count from this wall. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Which means there should be a gap by one, two, three, four, and five. Which is perfect. Here we could have a huge window later on. So from above, you should be having this little shape, okay? The shape is maybe a little bit <laughs> debatable, but please bear with me, all right? It's not the size that matters. And then, just to kind of finalize the whole shape of the house, let's move over here and let's add a little garage. So let's jump away, one, two, and from the third one, let's go smooth cords out. You can use concrete, by the way, as I said. Concrete could work as great as this. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, maybe. Perfect, yes, yeah, so that is nine like that. There's gonna be nine over here as well. And then let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, which means two more blocks, and we should meet up with that wall over there. Perfect. However, this is gonna be a double wall, so let's just do this bam bam and bam. And then using a the strip oak, let's make a little garage door. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five. And this is the middle piece over here. Never be the middle piece. And smooth course pretty much go all the way until we meet over with that wall. Like a so. That is not too shabby. So from above, you are having this shape. So this is the main entrance to the house. So pretty much this is the street view. Not much of a view at this stage, but it's gonna be something, all right? Also, let's add a little garage to the uh, garage entrance. So let's do maybe Remove those two like this, get a stripped oak, some concrete powder, and let's have a window which is situated just opposite of the door. So from above, we are having this shape. Now let's fill in some floors and whatnot, all the gaps. So let's say the garage over here, we'd be using the, the concrete powder, I guess, because well, why not? And then the rest of the house is going to be using the birch planks. So um, yeah, let's get to it. So all the gaps here in the rooms and whatnot, besides the garage, which is going to be the concrete powder. So the birch inside the house and the concrete powder or something else inside of the, the garage. Beam bada beam, ladies and gentlemen, we have pretty much the whole foundation laid out. And if you get this part correct, you're in for great success. Wow, wow, wow. And uh, next would be to rise up all the coarse walls or whatever materials you chose. And maybe we, sh we should have gone for concrete because that's going to be a lot cheaper. But hey, it is what it is. So let's rise them up by six blocks counting from the ground. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, and six. And just continue having them six. However, the garage uh, walls are just going to be five. So they're going to be pretty much going over here but just five counting from the ground. And there's a lot of uh, walls to be risen. So six in total counting from the ground. Kawabanga, the house is taking shape. And now comes my favorite part, and that is kind of shaping it out and just giving it some character and whatnot. So as I said, this is gonna be the, the side which faces the beach and the ocean, right? So let's um, let's start over here, I guess. We're gonna be using quite a bit of the birch trapdoors and some might love them, some might hate them. So let's start over here. Let's place them from the bottom part of the block. One, two, three, and four. One, 
two, three, and four, and then just close them like so. On the top elevation, which is the fourth to fifth block, let's just get a little perimeter of the oak, uh, oak planks. I do kind of like the combination between those uh, default birch and uh, the oak. Because birch would maybe just be a little bit too much of the of the light materials. And above that, let's just close it off with some smooth quartz. And also what we could do here in the backstage, there's gonna be a little entrance. I'm not gonna use like real doors, I'm just gonna use like windows. So let's maybe get let's get the white stained ones from both sides. This could be maybe like a sliding door. You could also remove that and put like a, an iron bar, just gonna like represent like a door handle and whatnot. But that is how we're gonna go. This one is pretty much the same. So let's do one, two, and three trap doors. So we can meet up with the same elevation and one, two, and three from this side. I kind of just like it because it does frame the windows very, very, very nicely. Not too shabby. And this is just gonna be some glass, uh, glass penises over here like this the only downside is that that window kind of comes on that wall nothing i'm proud of but it is what it is i guess and then just get some of that on the top now comes the back door entrance uh, or the, the entrance to the house over here so let's take this pillar and take it up by one two three four and five in total the same goes for this one and the same for that so that is five counting from the ground and then maybe just go across like this and like that and for the entrance i guess we could just be using uh, normal panes over here and then maybe just like a white stain for the sliding door representation and then get some smooth quartz and let's just loop that across like a so okay don't judge this yet okay then this is going to be a humongous window so here we're going to be doing trap doors once again one two three four is that four that is four that's perfect one two three and four and then just close them this is going to be a little bit different because we're going to have more trapdoors. So here on the block, let me just think about this. How do we want to have it from this angle or this angle? So it's going to be facing that way. One, two, three, and four. And the same from this side. So one, two, three, and four. How are we looking? Not that shabby, I guess. Above that, let's get the striped oak wood. And I guess we don't really have to have it all the way through. One layer would be enough and then having cores on the inside. But I do kind of like the, the difference from, um, well, textures, I guess. It just looks nicer on the inside, having a little bit of, of a different material. And then pretty much just close off the window over here. So we're going to have the normal ones on, on the sides. Two layers of those, like uh, this. It's a pain placing them, by the way. But it has to be done and then in the middle let's just get the white stain just to get a little bit of variation going uh, bam, done it how are we looking from the outside see it is taking shape slowly and painfully don't judge this yet then this last window is pretty much going to be super simple the same the same design so three panes from each side like this on top we're gonna get some of the stripped oak boom boom and bada beam and then just get some normal windows from the back. You could use whatever windows you prefer. You can use the stained glass as well. But that is how we're going to roll. And on top of that, let's get some smooth quartz. So that is pretty much the back done. It's not really done done. The next step would be to kind of make it more, more personalized. We could do do this just to kind of get a nice, nicer shape. Let's close this off. You might do, but, 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 no buts, all right? And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to take some quartz stairs, uh, smooth quartz stairs. And those ones I will place maybe even here like this upside down. You might be screaming, what the crap is happening? Don't you guys worry. And that turns in like that. So we have a little shape. Because now we're going to be making a little roof here. And roof is going to be out of birch. There's going to be a lot of birch in this build. Some people love birch. Some people absolutely hate birch. I'm uh, I'm, I'm towards the, the hating part of the peoples. Because I don't really enjoy birch. But in some builds, especially like on the beach, this is going to be quite nice. Then what we're going to do, we're going to start over here. Just above the window. Boom, boom, boom. So there's three blocks out. Do the same on this side. So just above the window. One, two, three and three like that and then those guys are going to be coming pretty much like that see so now that meets up with that this meets up with that and this is going to be a roof which is going to be going zigzagging all the way to the top and this should have a middle piece if we have counted this correctly this should meet up with a slab on the top if it does yippee if it doesn't not so great success perfect that's going to be a little back roof to, to, the, to the whole structure and this is this is where the details come in and i kind of like it and let's do this all the way 
just doing birch like usually i would mix materials like i would have a uh, birch on the outer perimeter and maybe some other material on the inside but this is just gonna be a birch roof and then just get the quartz and let's just make a shape which looks something like that and that is pretty much closed off isn't it amazing let's get some uh, birch stairs and place them upside down from both sides and then in the middle let's grab do we have any full planks of birch what we do actually on the floor let's get them and place them one and two like that next up grab your birch stairs and let's curve them just here and take this shape just one above the window like this all the way here to the far end and one block outside let's do the same on this side the beauty about this is that let me show you and one outside that from this corner to that corner is 13 blocks across the same goes from this corner to that corner so we can have like a nice t-shaped roof which pretty much has the same elevation all over the place you will see all right next is grab your birch trapdoors let's start on this uh, this roof piece here take it out by one and two like that then go all the way across here and stop just as the wall stops over here and that's going to be taken out by four in total so this is going to be a little like porch roof of what of some type maybe not the best material to choose because of trapdoors and whatnot but uh, it will have to suffice and let's just fill it in let there be trapdoors uh, yeah it might look a little bit silly but it is what it is now let's grab some uh, birch fences and let's make a little support pillar for it from the far end over here and then let's move to this end and then we're gonna see if we can find a middle piece to this whole thing never be the middle piece human centipede but let's uh, see here we have one two three and four one two three and four five so this over here is a little middle piece to the whole equation and let's take maybe one more pillar could have uh, one pillar here and one on this but let's uh, maybe not so let me just see here how are we looking i guess that is not too shabby one cool thing we could do is i'm um, not sure we're gonna have them but a lantern can you hang them in those guys i think you can right yes you can indeed you know what we could do we can make twinkie lights i don't know i don't know if you call it twinkie lights but we can make like party lights going across if we only could recolor them that would be so amazing but let's maybe just have it here for the moment and we will tweak that later on and maybe even have two lights here okay we are not in the light stage Carol, so we haven't done the house yet yeah 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 what do you guys think about that let's do some uh, some yard work in the back over here so let's start maybe some over here let's take this out by one two three four and five that meets with the pillar so that's gonna be filled in whatever material you prefer i know this is a little bit of a redonkulous material to use for for uh Skitty here today. It's a little bit maybe a redundant material to use for this task, but it is what it is. And then maybe just take a little path which goes to on the side of the house like this. So pretty much fill in all this over here. And then on this side, let's do a little bit differently. Let's take a path out by two, like this, and two on the side of the house. And here we're gonna have a little pool entrance. You might be but 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 no buts. There's no buts at all. So let's grab the light ray concrete. I would use this material. Oh, you know what would be amazing for pools? Let me show you. This over here, the light blue concrete powder. The only thing is, I guess, oh, this is such a beautiful pool material. The only problem is like, I think once this gets wet, it uh, becomes solid, right? So yeah, there's a no-go zone. But over here, let's measure this out. Let's delete, um, if I would place, gray concrete here and one here that leaves us one two three four five in the middle that's perfect so it's gonna be a little like a pulled entrance and whatnot we could use i don't know we could use quartz stairs for this task but i think i'm just gonna be using this so there's gonna be a little pull this obviously is gonna be continuing on and this is this grass is gonna be replaced with this uh, concrete powder you just bear with me all right uh, yard work with Corrales and here let's uh, see the pool is going to be going somewhere like this and maybe just ending here as well because why not you might be screaming Corrales what is happening I have no idea all right but this is going to be a pool so this is going to be going down like this and we're going to be adding the what you're going to call it the, the light uh, blue concrete and this goes down even further over here. I guess since I'm playing on a flat world, this kind of makes it impossible to make the deep, uh, deep pools and whatnot. But a pool which is too in-depth could maybe even... 
do quite well. So this would be pretty much something like so, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the pool just continues. So this pool is going to be going all the way here. And ending over here. And then in width, let me see here. Let's make a pool which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And on the 7th block, which is going to be here. There's where the pool is going to be ending. Like this. And pretty much the same on this side. Okay, you know what? Let me just... I'm all, I'm all excited. I just can't hide it. But this is the size of the pool. So once again, counting from this side. Uh, okay, that is going to be the turning point. So 1, 2, 3, 4... Five and six and we turn on the seventh one like here or you know that even better yeah 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 yeah. this is definitely gonna work out ladies and gentlemen but in, instead of turning the pool using the 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 concrete the gray concrete let's use um what do you call that is it just blue right yeah yeah, let's maybe use blue stained glass, or do we have light blue? Yeah, let's yeah, let's do the light blue, I guess. That's gonna give us a little bit of an infinity pool feeling. I know you might be like, Charles, there's only grass over here. But, ladies and gentlemen, don't you worry about a thing. This over here is gonna be an infinity pool, and obviously the layer below there is gonna be uh, the blue concrete, right? But I'm just laying this out, because now I need to dig. A lot of digging is, uh, is gonna be made over here. But yeah, that is the main layout for the bag so far. So obviously the, the concrete is going to be going all the way. Keralis, do you skip in the video? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Something like this. This will be perfect. You just wait and see, all right? But let me just dig this out. When the moon hits your eye like a pig pizza by its amore. So can I change the light blue uh, over here to cyan instead? I think that looks much better. One more thing which we could have in this corner over here. Let's just think about this. If I would do one, two, one, or maybe take it even out further, we could have a little jacuzzi. You just wait and see. Let's get that floor up, maybe like a so. This would be this, this would be that. And we could have like a tiny, tiny jacuzzi, like, yeah, uh, what is that? Like four by four? That will definitely suffice, and let's just get some core stairs. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this might be have to be a two-parter of a let's build, because I don't think I can manage to do everything in one video without you guys getting bored, because I know you're getting bored. I can see that, I, I can feel the comments now, like, it's too boring. I, I can't help it. Like, if, if you gotta do a nice house, it's, it can take some time. Something like this. Okay, that's... Uh, that's a cheap jacuzzi if I've seen one, but it's definitely gonna work. And I am actually gonna fill the pool, just to kind of see how this works. Is this enough just filling up this elevation? I haven't played Minecraft in such a long time. This is the first pool I do in years, kind of feels like. Why is that such a funky shape over here? I'm not really sure what is happening in the jacuzzi part. But ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna look absolutely amazing. You just wait and see, because the thing is that... And this over here is going to be a beach, right? So it's going to be sandy. Like, that is the, the, the vision. If you're playing this on our world, not a flat world as, as I'm doing over here, right? So this should be a beach. Like that, for example. So we do have the infinity pool just overlooking the ocean over here. That is going to be... Wa -wa -wa. That's going to be amazing. Also, you know what? Since this is going to be a two-parter, I can just slow it down a little bit. I'm going to do a quartz over here, smooth quartz. We're going to get some, uh, I don't know, maybe some slabs. Or, you know, scaffolding would kind of work as well. I used that as a table in the previous one. I kind of kind kind of, of like that design. Let's maybe do a little thing over here. So if I would have a table like here, so that is just pretty much just above the lamp. Just having like a little, I don't know, maybe some couch, deck chairs and whatnot like that that goes out maybe like this boom just kind of like a relaxation area and on the other side could pretty much just be a chair or something okay that's a long one hey hey, hey. not bad and obviously we're gonna have tons of palm trees all the way around and whatnot but this is definitely taking shape like so and i guess we're gonna continue from this point in uh, part two which is gonna be the final part of this house we will make this a representable uh, beachfront property i pinky promise but i like this i think this is um, this is quite a start i guess we can even take out let me just see here does it turn into yes it does turn into solid form straight off right Dang it. Like, just having the, the blue concrete as, as pool, uh, 
cool bottom would be absolutely snazzy looking. Because I don't think there's anything in the default texture pack which kind of resembles uh, a pool bottom. Well, maybe Prismarini, but I'm not a big fan of those blocks. I don't know why. Something like that. This could be maybe turning about here. That goes in. There's going to be bushes all the way around. You just believe. Maybe even a fireplace of some type. But ladies and gentlemen, look into my eyes. Nothing but my eyes. Thank you so, so much for, for watching. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you for the amazing feedback and support. It feels good to be back in Minecraft and building stuff. And you guys seem to enjoy it a lot as well. So thank you so, so much. Do hit the like button. I'm going to see you guys in uh, part two of this house. Where we're going to continue. We're going to close it off. We're going to bushify it, pull uh, palm trees all the way around. And uh, make this a better place for you and for me and I guess the entire human race. So um, until the next episode, which should be out tomorrow, by the way. Kerala's over now. Have a very, very, very nice day. Bye-bye.